But I've been married uh, 12 years now. We've had one argument. Guess how long it's lasted. <laughs> 11 years, 11 months and two weeks. <laughs> I was away for two weeks. <laughs> After 12 years, sex life gets a bit boring, or for people with education, moribund. <laughs> Recently I discussed anal sex with my wife, she agreed, but when she came out of the bedroom wearing a strap-on dildo, I went off the idea. <laughs> Uh, thanks anyway, but we'll leave it. <laughs> Why are you walking behind me? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All right, I'll do the washing up. <laughs> there was no need to take a run up. <laughs> I've got kids, I worry about the teenage years. When I was 14, my mother caught me masturbating. Very embarrassing. Thankfully, she was quite understanding. They still haven't let me back into that particular branch of McDonald's, but, you know. <laughs> also, when I was 14, my dad caught me smoking cigarettes. He made me smoke 20 in a row. I thought, thank God it wasn't him who caught me masturbating. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I was 14. I would have given it a good go. <laughs> I came from quite a poor family. I used to wear hand-me-downs. I didn't have any older brothers. I used to wear my granddad's clothes. <laughs> School playground, seven years old. Cardigan, slippers and a pipe. <laughs> and a catheter. <laughs> Personally, I'd like to die how my granddad died, really, laughing, you know, unlike the rest of the passengers on his bus. <laughs> he was an angry man. He was actually responsible for shooting down two German planes. Unfortunately, he did it in 1971. <laughs> but he said you could never be too careful. <laughs> now, before I play a song, I've got one thing to tell you. This is a wind-up and it works, right? If you've got some new neighbours moving in next door, find out their names, that bit is vital. Find out their names from your old neighbours. Right. And they knock on the door one evening. Good evening, I'm John, your neighbour. You must be Peter and Gabrielle. And then they look at you like this. Uh, yeah, we are. How do you know? Then just look at them and say, Jesus told me. <laughs> Kumbaya, my love. I'll give them about three months. <laughs> and now, a song. A song of love and solidarity. I like lasses, lasses don't like me cause I wear blue NHS glasses I've had since I was three. When I was born my mum and dad, they were oh so proud cause they knew their little lad was gonna stand out in the crowd. Cause I'm ginger, <laughs> ginger and proud, I'm ginger. Walking down the street one night not causing any harm. My ginger hair so red and bright set off a car alarm. <laughs> Thrown into a police van, Oh, what could be scarier? I said, what's the charge? They said, being ginger in a built-up area. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. My ginger mates came and got me from the ginger jail. They took me down the ginger pub. What are you having? No lemonade <laughs> With a touch of ginger <laughs> I would go out tonight But I don't have a hat to wear <laughs> It would be my finest mission If I went from ginger to titian It would be my finest dream If traffic lights went red, ginger green 
or jeans, jeans, jeans. <laughs> like my fringe, fringe, fringe. Thank you, thank you very much, Jane John Maloney. Thank you.